All right, what is up guys and welcome to Swedish Tea. Um, in this episode we're setting up Go from the basics. Um, we're downloading it and setting the Go path uh, to your workspace and getting up and running with Go. So to get started you navigate to uh, golang.org and then you simply press download Go. This tutorial will go through how you set it up in uh, Windows. So for Apple users, I would suggest you can use uh, the package manager brew. So you simply brew install uh, go. Um, however, for Windows, we will download uh, go via the web page. All right, now we can simply open the installation file. Um, and proceed by accepting the terms and installing it in the default um, location and then wait for it to proceed. All right, now we can press finish here and we open up the command prompt here and uh, type in go um, help. And it looks like we have uh, installed Go successfully now. So let's set up the um, workspace now with the environment variables um, correctly. So we can type go and to look at all the environment variables that came with Go. Here we can see um, what we're interested in is basically Go root. That's the directory where Go is installed um, and where all the like main packages etc will live. Um, however, we also got um, a go path here, uh, which is the path to our workspace. And this workspace path we can um, can change in order to get the custom workspace path uh, on our uh, desktop, for example. So uh, let's set up um, go workspace on our desktop. Uh, first of all, we can uh, create a new folder on our desktop called uh, go workspace so now we need to tell go to point its go path um, to this folder uh, this go workspace folder um, on our desktop so what we can do is to type in env for environment in our search prompt and here we will um, go into environment variables and here we can see that we have a go path that has been set and is corresponding to the one we can see in the command prompt. So let's go in and edit this one to match um, the desktop um, path that we created a go workspace in. So that'll just be slash desktop um, and backslash um, go workspace. That should be it. We press OK and we restart the command prompt. And now if we run go environment, go env, we should get our updated go path here corresponding to the path um, of our desktop folder. So uh, let's go into our newly created workspace folder and add the necessary folders um, which Go needs in order to kind of organize your code in a specific way. Um, so you have a source folder which contains uh, Go source files. You also have a bin folder which contains uh, the binary executables. And you finally have your packages uh, or like the package archive. Um, so a workspace in Go is uh, a directory on your system where Go will look for source code files, um, where you can manage like dependency packages, and you can also build uh, the distribution binary files. So all of these folders will contain these files. 
Um, so for example, when you hit uh, the import statement in Go, um, you will actually find that Go firstly look in the Go root path in the uh, SRC folder there. Uh, but if it can't find any like source um, package with that uh, name, it will secondary to go to your workspace and look for um, the package there. So it's kind of a nice setup, I think, and this will get us uh, going. So let's just uh, try a quick Go script in VS Code. So to quickly test that our Go uh, custom Go workspace is correctly set up, I created a small package here called custom text, and it uh, exports to variable what is Go and who said T. Um, I'm also using VS Code with the Go extension, which I can definitely recommend if you're uh, in for a new editor. Uh, but now we can create a um, package or a Go script that actually uses um, this custom package. So um, we create a folder called test and it shows up here. We, in test we create a Go script called test.go. In this, uh, we define that it should be uh, executable, and we also import um, fnt to in order uh, to print, and we also import a custom text. So fnt in this case uh, will be imported from the root directory. Then Go will not be able to find this custom text um, package inside of the root directory and we'll therefore uh, try to look for it in um, our custom uh, workspace directory or the go path that we just exported and set. So um, let's print out and see if we can um, look at these variables. And we use it like this and uh, one of the variables was uh, I think who said t or something like that. Um, so I guess we can just who said t. Now we can navigate to our command prompt and uh, from our workspace into the source folder and then into the test folder where our test script lives. And then we compile and run with the go run command and uh, see if we can get the correct output. And it seems to be working. And we have successfully now used um, the custom package uh, according to the new go path variable that we've been setting. Right, that was all for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. This was Swedish Chi coming at you with another video on go paths this time. Um, I'll be producing a lot of content ahead, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, also drop a comment below, I'm really interested in hearing what uh, you guys think about these types of videos. Um, tell me what I can improve on. Um, otherwise, I'll see you very soon, and please stay tuned for more.